I'm back and I painted my nails. Let's look at old things. I'm not entirely sure this counts as cosmetics because it's a dusting powder, but I just, ugh. It is a dusting powder, so the idea behind it is you would get out of the shower and you would put this all over your body so you would be less rubbery and smell nice. Look at that puff. It's like a bright cotton candy pink in person, but... Oh, now it's all over my hands. I'm a silly goose. I'm a fool. Then I have this set. This is a brush. I wouldn't include this, but it's part of a set, so... It's missing the gem. Tragic. It goes with this lipstick. It has the mirror. And then... How do I open you? Oh, yeah. Okay. doesn't twizzle up anymore because it's old, but neato. And the matching compact. It's also missing a gem. I think they're all missing at least one, but they're old, so whatever. And I'm blinding you again. Next up, we have a bunch of lipsticks. This one, the little dots. It's Avon, so I could hold it the right way around. And this is a pain to open, so give me a second. There we go. Not sure if this is supposed to be a lipstick or like a lip gloss, chapstick type deal. But it may be one of those ones where you like put it on and it changes color. But it's never been used, so I will not be testing it. It smells like crayons. Probably shouldn't sniff these things. I don't know if that's bad for me. I'm like a terrible scientist. Please close. There we go. Yeah. Precious. Put you back. Oh my gosh, this one? I found at a thrift store. They wanted like 99 cents for it. It's Cody. Try not to breathe heavily into the microphone. That's all. Very gross looking in there. It builds character to be a little jankety. I say that a lot. Maybe I should get like a different thing to say. <laughs> this one with a little mirror on the back. It's cherry. That's all. In the last video, there was another one of these, but this one actually twizzles up. It's never been used. It's so beautiful. I want to bite it. Looks like candy. And these are actually plastic. Only the base is metal. But look at her. Oh, Miss Lollipop collection owns my soul. Then we have another one, the shape peppermint. So beautimous. This one, I think it's like called Coca Cola or something. Just cola. Look at her with the bubbles. Princess. Ah, oh, there we go. It's a brown. And then I think this one's called like lemonade, pink lemonade. Yeah, pink lemonade. And it is just yellow, so I don't know what the point of calling it pink lemonade is. Ugh, stay. Stay. And this is another lipstick. <laughs> Max Factor. Press the little button. <sighs> Hello. There's the lipstick. It's broken. It does not twizzle up. But the color is like fairly close to my nails. So that's neat. Oh, 
Oh, and this is also a lip product. Avon lip gloss. It's kind of gross in there, but I found it in a basement at an estate sale. And the basement was disgusting. But it was cute, so I got it anyway. This is an Elizabeth Arden one, I believe. Yeah. In Stop Red. It doesn't twizzle up anymore, but it's a little lipstick. Don't know if we can see down in there. Nope, just the void. Here is a Tangy Rouge. Let's see if I can get it open. Ooh. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. This, actually, it originally came in like a toy vanity set for a little girl, but I was only able to find this piece. Another rouge. I just love the packaging on this one. very pink in person. Close, please. Oh, goodness. And another one. This one's thicker. She's thick. Well, there goes the puff. <gasps> no, I got it on the carpet. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, it's coming off easy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know how it makes her hair look lovelier, but whatever. Very vibrant. The next shelf has an awful lot of red. Including this. It, it's... <sighs> this just makes me sad. It's just... Mm. But they look so happy together. Look how cute that is. Let's see if I can get it open. I don't know if I... Yeah, no, that's like stuck on there. But I have mixed feelings about this product. Then we have... This leather compact that's covered in dust. It has a little magnetic latch. Pretty sure this is a swan's down puff. Oh, it's like so hard to grab because it's so fluffy. Dusty. Powdery. Lipstick. Me for real. I got it open. Delightful. Another pink lipstick. Is that upside down? Okay, I think that's the right side up. It's impossible to read. Okay, anyway. She gooping in there. Kind of gross. But also kind of funny. <laughs> Another pink lipstick by Tangy. It's just so cute. Kind of gross, but I love it. Little Rouge, open sesame, please. Thank you. It's 
a lot more pink in person. Don't know why it's showing so orange on camera, but. This guy. It's a little scratched up, but. Ooh, blinding you. Stratton. There she is. Empty like my head. It's just so pretty though. I'm, I'm blinding you severely. I'm so sorry. Anyway, moving on. I used to have the matching powder box for this. It had the same design on it. But it's a little Cody compact. I'm getting to the point in my collection where I have to start selling off parts of it because, um, well, eventually you get called a hoarder and I'd rather have room for things I really like as opposed to just things that are okay, you know? So, I'm trying to thin it out a little bit. But, another lipstick clip. She a little dusty. She's also Stratton. Another Avon lip gloss that's shaped like a little food. So quirky. Open sesame. So cute, kind of gross. Because the gloss in it sticks to all the dust. But another Cody compact. The design is pretty worn, but I love her regardless. Little latch. Empty. I need to remember to center things. But I have no brain cells, so I won't. This also dusty. Oh my gosh. It has that same um I don't know what you would even call this uh, enamel work on it. That's just sort of really reflective. It has an S on it. It's heart shaped. Oh my goodness. Open up. Ooh. Puff. Get in there. I love it so much. Do 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 do. Look at this little bird. Also straighten. This is all that remains of the puff. The foam part of it, uh, like disintegrated and shrunk and died. I apologize if you hear yelling from the basement. They're watching sports. We also have. La Dainty Bleaching Ointment, because back in the day, freckles and such were seen as flaws. Yeah. So you would bleach your skin. <laughs> That's horrifically sad. Anyway, moving on to this little hairdressing pomade sample, which is... That's nothing. I don't know how you would sample anything at that size. I guess you'd have to have maybe three hairs on your head. But what do I know? Little lady. I'm pretty sure this is Armand. Gross inside. It's a cream rouge. Or blush or whatever you want to call it. Rouge and blush are technically different things. Blush is just for your cheeks and rouge is for your cheeks and or lips. So, that's your little fun fact of the day. This is another lipstick. It's very long and skinny. Uh, skinny legend. Helena Rubenstein. Very fun. Don't know if that focused at all while I was trying to show that, but... Whatever's. This is one of the Freemason compacts. I got it just because it's Zagazig, and I don't know what that means. I just thought it was kind of funny. Come here, Puff. It has, like, the filter in it. Usually, sifters like this are made out of, like, cardboard and fabric, so it's really neat to see it made out of metal. Very pretty. Tiny little guy. I have more from this brand in this line. The marvelous line. But I have it scattered throughout. Come on, open up. Knock, knock. It's empty. Another cream rouge. 
holly berry. Perfect for the season. Don't know when I'll actually post this video, but I'm making this. It's it's Christmas Day, yeah, <laughs> actually. But I. Uh, anyway, I am just chilling because I've been doing family things all week. So, Luxor. Oh my gosh, I got green rouge on it. Yeah, that's fun. Luxor is an interesting brand because, like, way back in the day, there was this meat packing business. And they had, like, leftover stuff from all the animals. And they're like, what are we going to do with it? And then they made makeup out of it. So, no, it is not vegan friendly. But it is resourceful, and I can appreciate that. Recycling is good. Look at this very bedazzled compact. I think it's missing, like, one or two gems, like, right there, yeah. Or, is that the right spot? No, there are gems there, okay. But there's one missing, like, right here. I can't tell through the camera. It's all shiny. Oh yeah, there are gems missing there. It's all just so reflective, it's hard to tell. But, you pull that. I'm blinding you. And in there, I believe it's another swan's down puff. It's just so soft. Which is sad, because swan's down puffs are actually horrific. It's got the little sheet in there. hard to get all the fibers in there so I don't even bother trying but then we have lipstick blotting paper and it, just, it looks like a matchbook but it's little tissues how fun is that moving on to a powder box that's like a hundred years old and it's shade number four and you look over here at the shade names and uh number four is flesh which is i guess better than some of these other names anyway gotta go around nice for the stage for the boudoir Ooh. Fancy. This little carry-all set is in this little black fabric bag. Come on, get it out of there. Blech. So shiny. Open her up. Have the mirror. Spot for whatever you want to do. I guess cigarettes, most likely. Little lipstick. Come on, get in there. Probably rouge, because that's where I found a bunch of red powder when I got it. It's very deep, though. And then, face powder. You could fit quite a bit in there. It's a deep dish. Let me get that back in the bag. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. Oh, and there's also... Here in the side, come on, a little comb. If I can get out without breaking it, that would be nice. Yeah. I will refrain from messing with that. Come on, you can close. I believe in you. If we can find the snap. There we go. This is just a little glass box that I found to put my little samples in for Armand. This is the cold cream powder, which I don't know how that would work. Because cream is supposed to remove makeup, and the powder just seems like it would not work very well. Complexion powder. Oh, I didn't show the back of this one, the cold cream powder. Maybe that has like, an explanation. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would work. Anyway, so, another one. And the last one. I think this one still has stuff in it, but I'm not going to open it, because it'll be loose powder. Neato, neato. I'll deal with cleaning that back later. 
We all saw him. This one, I got it in a lot of like 50 compacts or something. And it was an interesting shape. And I was wondering why until you open it. And there's a lipstick in there. There's a lipstick, space for powder, and a weird shape blush. It's so bright in person. The camera is saving your all eyes. This little Avon compact. Come on, open up. Why are you so stubborn? Okay, there's no mirror, but it's just so cute. Just a little guy. This one, it says happy birthday, but I got it for Christmas this year. Powder. Yeah. Huh. She dusty, but she's so cute. Look at that. Happy birthday to you. Is this song copyrighted? I feel like it is. There's this one. It's so thin. Look at that. Compared to this one. It's ridiculous. But I don't know if these elephants are original to it. Because they look like they were glued on. And I don't really get the theming. Of like a liquor and elephants. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see if I can cover the mirror. But we'll show the sticker. Silver plated. I found this at a garage sale. Get in there please. Cooperate with me. Thank you. This one is really neat. Super detailed. I'm bumping the phone. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to not blind people. There's a spot for like whatever you want to do down there. Face powder and lipstick and rouge. Ugh. Okay, it's falling apart at the seams. By that I mean I am falling apart at the seams because I am a menace to society and all things nice. There we go. Oh, and the mirror opens up so you can put stuff behind it. Neato, neato. And this one is brand new in the box. Super shiny. This is a lipstick. Brand new in there. Then you pull that. The mirror is broken, but it builds character. Dorothy Gray. Cute, cute. I'm okay. I'm f this is a suitcase, the black thing, and I keep hitting the handle of it and making loud noises. So, if you're wondering what that was, this one was another one I got for Christmas from the same girl who gave me that. She's my coworker. Come on, open up. Okay, I'm trying to get powder everywhere. It's a super tiny little face powder. So cute. I just, I love compacts that are super tiny because it doesn't need to be. It's kind of impractical that it is, but I love it. This one is like cowhide, which is kind of creepy, but there's a zipper. And I think the mirror is loose in this one, so I'll turn it to. Okay. There's the puff. And yeah, the mirror is just kind of laying in there. So let's not drop that. There's this one. Has the owner's initials on it. Well, not initials, her full name, actually. Usually it's just initials, but this one's fancier. Oddly shaped puff with the brand name on it. Cream Rouge. 
Did I just shut the puff in it? Okay. This is leather and wood. Neato, neato. Not very satisfying click, but I shall live. Continuing on, we have these beautiful little roses. Roses for June. The mirror is broken, but Bill's character. American Beauty. This one, it's fabric, it's a little stained, but the mirror on the back, little latch, if I can get it to open, come on, cooperate with me. Okay. What just fell? Was that powder? Did powder just come out all over my carpet? Oh my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> There's a mirror there, and there's a sifter, and there's another mirror in the bottom. So, you will never need a mirror with her. I just want to figure out what came out of that. Did, it, did my nail polish chip? I don't... What was... I don't, okay. Another fabric one. She looks like she's confronting her about something. It's very shiny. I just blinded y'all. Beveled mirror, that's nice. But wait, a beveled mirror means like this slant here. This makes it look fancier and prettier. This one, all the compact girlies know her. Dorothy Gray. This is not the original puff, I don't think, because why would it be square? She's lived a life as she deserved. She's had fun. This one. This is one of the Richard Hood nut. Richard Hood nut. Kind of a different shape there. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, so there's like a little different shape there at the corner. And this compact is weird because it doesn't like open all the way. It sort of like stays open like that. Which is kind of nice, but it has a little puff with Richard Hood's <laughs> Richard Hudnett's name on it, and the button is broken. Like there's supposed to be a little thing there that you pull back with your nail, but it's gone. And so this doesn't really have anything to hold it shut. Hold on, yeah, it just sort of like flops open. She a little goofy, but you know, another Dorothy Gray, right? Did I remember that right? Yes. And it's kind of just a weird shape, so I like it. And I'm bumping the phone. Neato, neato. Oh, well, the puff is coming apart in layers. This one, ugh, I love it. But it had, like, a price tag right there as a sticker. And I don't know if it just, like, didn't oxidize underneath the sticker, and that's what's causing the discoloration there, or what's going on. But it's neat, and I'm blinding y'all. And the other side, like, it has green in the gr in the grooves. So I don't know why the front does it. Or the front does not. Mispronouncing words. And there's the mirror. <laughs> this the little lever that's missing on the other one. Let me just stick the mirror back in there. Hopefully not break it. So yeah. Moving on to another leather compact. Another beveled mirror. This one I got for free. I was talking to a lady at Antique Mall and I was buying another compact from her. And then she gave me this one just for funsies. Wadsworth or Wadesworth, still not entirely sure how it's pronounced. We have this one. It's a 
like a clock with all the different activities one could do in a day because only these activities exist. So the USA there, so you know it's old because nothing is made in America anymore. Come on, open sesame. It's a big compact. Got a little cotton round in there for some reason. But it lives there now. Neato. This one, I have the box for it in here, in the suitcase. I put the boxes and such in there to keep them safe. But it's, um, interesting. Shiny. Still got the sheet in there. Oh, it's so cushy. Never been used. This guy. Oh, I love this brand. Open sesame. The mirror's a little jacked up, but it's La Mode. I love La Mode. They make such pretty things. Or made such pretty things, rather. I don't know if the company still exists. Probably not. And this one. It was a gift. Another Stratton Compact. The puff, see, it's just sort of like, the puff sort of like does this after some time. So I usually just throw away the, the mush and keep the, the structural part of it. Oh, and it has a sticker on the mirror. Let's see if I can get that. Nice. More stuff, more stuff, more stuff. I'm not sure if nail polish is makeup yet again, but it's this little celluloid thingamajigger with cuticle remover, nail tint, and oily tint remover. And I'm not sure what these little holes are for, but the whole thing lifts out. Disney. I love it very much. I got it in a box full with other celluloid things for like 40 bucks and this alone is worth that to me but you know I got a box of other things with it so this is neat what you do is you put a bottle of nail polish here and you rest your finger on there to steady it and this I originally thought it was like for a lipstick or something which doesn't really make sense but someone suggested like emery boards like you know the nail files or like maybe q-tips to like soak in the acetone and clean it up. I don't know. But they're neat. I have another one of those somewhere. I keep bumping the camera. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I think this is a cold cream drawer. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, well, there goes the lid. It's just a jar, but the name Grecian Girl Grease, it just had to come home with me for that. If you can hear me over me screwing up the lid. Avon lipstick samples. Come on, open. Avon. Okay. Not having long nails is a travesty. Give me a second. Ooh, okay, there we go. Look at all those tiny little lipsticks. There's it compared to like my pinky. Open it without scratching it. There's, look at that. Look at that! Little Avon lady coming to your door. She's bringing samples. And this, another Avon product. I'm gonna open it up. It's another dusting powder box. But it's just so pretty that I wanted to include it. It's cardboard. Oh, see what's on the inside. If it's gonna get stuff everywhere. Nope. And there's, look at that puff. Princess core. Get in there. It's just so fun. Moving on to the shelves directly behind. Um, let's see how I'm gonna get this. It's just, maybe 
yeah, the box isn't super interesting, so I won't bother getting that out for the sake of time. But look how massive the one side. So there'd be cigarettes here and a lighter here. Um, obviously the lighter has been vanquished at some point. Vanquished? Vanished. I don't, you know. Mirror, slot for coins. Um, this is where a comb would go. Lipstick. Let me show you that. Huzzah. It's got goop in there. Don't know if you can see that because it's way down in the crevice. But it's got the puff. And the this bit, powder container, I'm sorry I'm blinding you, it's kind of loose in there. The adhesive just would have died at some point. But am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know what your censorship rules are. I just live here. I know on TikTok you are forbidden from saying the unalived word. But look at this little lady. She's so dusty because I don't dust. But look at her. Like a washboard. Stick you back in there. This little guy. Fabric up there. Like a chainmail material. Yeah, material down there. Come on, open sesame. There's a puff in there that has flowers on it. Then we got some lipsticks back here hiding. Hitting things. Um, there's this little guy. Press that. There's a mirror. They got a lipstick. Nothing much in there. A little sparkly guy. I think this one is the Cutex one. Yeah. Cutex mostly made like um nail care products to my knowledge. So this one kind of caught me off guard. Don't scratch, don't scratch, don't scratch. This one. Oh. It's missing a gem. Yeah, there we go. But gunk up in there. Another lipstick. Doesn't twizzle up. Let's just do the lipsticks right now. This one's just so pretty. It's more pinky in person, but you know. <laughs> I got scared and I dropped things. Luckily it's just on carpet, but whatever. Apricot. Another, oh, it's so dusty. Armand cold cream powder. I don't know how cold cream powder works because cold cream is like a lotion thing that you put on your face to get the makeup off. How would it work if it was a powder? Anyway. Please focus. Cody Airspun Rouge. I have never been able to get this open. So, whatever, I guess. This guy. Do I have anything in there? No, I don't. I do not. Uh, I'm destroying everything. Yeah, look at that. The lipstick is missing. You could put whatever you wanted behind the mirror. There's a comb back there right now. This is just a little folder thing that I guess you could put whatever you wanted in there. And this one is still affixed in there, so it's not sliding around. I'm bumping things. I'm so sorry. I'm trying my best. Oh, for the record, this is not a lipstick. It is a toothbrush. So, not forgetting you. You're just not makeup, really. This one is also not a lipstick. It's a like a clothing brush, or just a brush for whatever you wanted it to be in the moment. And then we have more lippy sticks. Oh, that's so gross looking. And then, please lay in there nicely. 
Um, look at this little lipstick holder. I'll just pick it up. Got a little baby with a guitar and a massive head. Then there's this lipstick. Chit Chat Orange. And it like matches that bit. That's fun. Not a whole lot here, except for this lipstick holder that is shaped like a turtle. So if you ever wondered what the best thing to ever be made was, um, there you go. Moving on up. Little coin looking doodad. It was an American. Neato, neato. And this little rouge. It's dusty because everything in my life is. But the puff is really cute. Look at that. It's just so fluffy. Let's hope I can get these next two out without bumping into Artemis. Or the camera. That would be nice. Looks like playing Jenga. Lipstick, comb, pay order. Cigarettes go in there. Set that down for now. Watch it, Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. There we go. Okay. It's just a little bag tab deal. Which side opens? Okay. So this back side opens. Just reveal. I think like a manicure set went here originally. I guess you put like cigarettes in there. I don't know. Then this side. There is a comb behind the mirror. Little lipstick in there. Let's see if I can open it. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Come on, get back in the little groove. There we go. And then we got these other two little slots for powder. What's in you? A little pouch that contains nothing. Yas, girl, give us nothing. Neato. I guess you could like have it engraved right there. Pretty neat. To the right. To the right. This little doodad. The mirror is free once again. But here on the sides we have a little perfume bottle. And open sesame. Come on. Get out of there. Okay. Okay. A little lipstick. Excuse me while I have technical errors. Another dusty little compact. Little puff. It's just a neat little shape. Then this powder box. It's just so pretty. To the right yet again. Cleansing cream. Oh, this is a, a manicure set, by the way, and the box is heart-shaped, but I don't know if it really counts as cosmetic stuff, so we're just gonna breeze past that. Compact. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Anyway. Carrot. Raspberry. There's a little carrot on there. How neat. We still have so much to go, but this video is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna stop it here and it. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.